One of the biggest play to earn NFT games, Axie Infinity, was hacked in late March and players lost over $600 million in the form of both ETH and USD. And yet, many in the crypto scene still believe that NFTs are the inevitable future of all gaming. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Now, today I want to talk about the future of NFTs in gaming because many people in the crypto scene see gaming as the sort of first frontier for the mainstream adaptation of NFTs. And the fact that this news story broke within the last day or two is extremely telling of why people just aren't that excited for NFTs to be implemented into the games that they know and love. And many people in the crypto scene will point at instances like this as absolute outliers and things that don't happen that often. And maybe that's actually true, but just a single day prior to this, today is the 12th, the news coming out of the Axie Infinity camp was was looking bleak at the very best. So why do many people in the web three and crypto scene see NFTs as inevitable for the future of gaming? Now, before we jump into it, guys, about 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you go down there and click that sub button and drop a thumbs up if you enjoy today's video. Now, in order to even understand why many are saying NFTs are the future of gaming, we have to understand how are NFTs even being used in video games as it is. Now, some games are almost entirely based based around the novelty of the NFT and earning NFTs or some form of currency that can be exchanged on a marketplace for crypto that can then be converted into US dollars in theory or whatever your currency is in whatever country you live in. Because the reality is a lot of people who are interested in play to earn games are in other countries where maybe the minimum wage is extremely low. And this provides them an alternative or a way to gain some form of sort of passive income that they didn't have access to before. So in the case of Axie Infinity, for example, you would sort of breed these little creatures and you could sell them on the marketplace and you know this sounds from a very basic perspective like it's not too bad because games you know all sorts of MMOs have had marketplaces if you look at World of Warcraft or if you look at Diablo for example there's many games that have marketplaces that you know you trade for in-game currency and a lot of players find to find a way to go around that barrier by spending real money to trade for in-game currency so in a way people have already been spending their actual real world dollars on on in-game items even in games that don't have nfts built in so it seems to be the case that this would sort of be a natural evolution of the in-game transactions or microtransactions, and it gives a way for the players to actually earn some of that money for the transaction because in the case of axie infinity you actually have to breed these creatures and put in a little bit of time and effort to make that happen so in a way players get sort of rewarded for their efforts but the problem with something like this is that when the game is built entirely around the novelty of nfts and using that as a means to an end you and ultimately have to have people buying what's on the marketplace so in in a way the game actually has to be good and people have to actually be just organically playing it and enjoying it in order for that marketplace to even have any value at all because if all you have are people playing the game with the hopes of selling who's buying right who's who's buying so ultimately even in the case of axie infinity which is one of the biggest nft games globally right now even they seem to sort of be struggling with this business model of play to earn and if a giant in the scene like this can't really make it work then what what gives well of course having the game built around a marketplace for nfts isn't necessarily the only way that nfts can find their way into gaming in this day and age gaming is a massive industry it's not the same industry that it was 10 15 years ago so many companies are finding new ways and new uses for nfts and that's one of the things that is interesting about the nft space and crypto in general with smart contracts it seems like many things are possible with nfts and it certainly seems to be the case that there is some form of utility in the technology that can be paired pretty harmoniously with gaming another very very famous case of nfts entering gaming is obviously dr disrespect a lot of people have talked about this but if you guys hadn't heard about this or haven't seen about this dr disrespect he is a very well-known figure in the online gaming scene he recently announced a couple months ago that he was starting a sort of game studio and he's releasing 
a new game and one of the things that him and his team i know he's not doing this alone decided to do was sell sort of beta access to that game in the form of an nft and realistically right a lot of people see the word nft and they immediately hate on it which isn't really fair because again nfts do legitimately have functionality and the fact that you can use an nft to verify the fact that somebody is actually an early founder of of this game uh is a legitimate use case for nfts which makes a lot of sense but there's still massive problems with using nfts in this way and that's because dr disrespect and his team is turning these founder passes essentially into tradable assets and there's only going to be 10,000 of them so you know it's going to be scarce and realistically what they're quoted as saying is that we're looking to leverage the collective strength of our day zero community that's going to be the 10,000 founders to go hands-on during crucial early development milestones in the project so what they're looking to do is get people who are passionate about dr disrespect's project so they can have input on quote unquote crucial early development milestones but the problem is that a majority of these people are going to be buying these nfts merely as a speculative asset and they're not really going to be that interested in participating in the early stages of development and of course there's going to be some that are just genuinely fans of dr disrespect and are curious to know what game he's working on and of course that will be the case but i think what's what we're gonna see is that people are gonna buy these nfts and then quickly realize that they can sell them for 200 dollars or 500 dollars. who knows what these are gonna go for once they start getting put up on the marketplace and then the question becomes hey maybe you are excited about this game but you could easily use the 200 dollars. so why not not just go ahead and, and sell it and then just you know go a little bit hands off and then all of a sudden you have 10,000 founders who are actually not interested in the project and are just hoping to make a quick buck and that is inherently the flaw in using the strategy that Dr Disrespect is using and it's no wonder why he was getting so much backlash and hate for his implementation of NFTs and honestly NFTs again do have some utility that can be applied to gaming right the, the whole point of NFTs and Ethereum is the execution of smart contracts and if we take a look here at Lexology it says arguably a smart contract is a tool to implement a sale agreement between the NFT owner and the buyer like a vending machine smart contracts being self-executing are able to verify that the terms of the contract have been met and execute the terms without the need of an intermediary or central authority it's a secure way to distribute unique digital assets which i think is inevitably going to come to the gaming scene but the problem is every time i would say probably 90 percent or more of the time that nfts are trending in the mainstream consciousness it's almost always because of some form of scandal scam or massive data breach or hack where people are losing money or getting harmed so the mainstream narrative is that nfts are a scam there are tons of signs of you know rug pulls and pump and dump schemes by people who are influencers in the gaming scene or even just influencers on instagram and social media in general and in every single case it is the case that the people who end up buying the nfts don't make their money back i think that's one of the traps that the people in the crypto scene sort of find themselves in is that they get it in their heads that because something is low supply and rare that it automatically makes it valuable which is simply not the case for example this is the only bent coke zero can with a sharpie star on it and it's one of a kind i don't think there's any other can that's bent in this exact same way with this specific design that i just drew on it and also it's one that i wrote not anybody else in particular so this is a one of one but that doesn't mean that this is worth more than the five cents you can get for it when you redeem it when you go to recycle scarcity does not guarantee value just in the same way that a marketplace does not guarantee buyers and yet even major game developers like Activision are looking to include NFTs in some of their biggest projects like Call of Duty and honestly probably every single other major game franchise that they own and this continues to be the case even after major developer Ubisoft is having a really hard time with the Ghost Recon NFTs and they've got tons and tons of hate and backlash for this project when it was announced so what makes these game developers want to continue pursuing the nft path despite all of these major negative downsides well it's 
pretty obvious and it's the same reason that they implemented microtransactions into pretty much every single video game that exists on the market to this day money what inspired you to build nft support into your game money <laughs> Yes, of course, money. That is the number one reason why NFTs are almost guaranteed to be in your favorite video game in the next five to 10 years, whether or not you like it. And that is because with NFTs and Ethereum, the smart contracts can sort of add a perpetuity clause to where the original creator of that NFT gets a percentage of every future sale of that NFT. So if you go ahead and buy a specific skin for Call of Duty Warzone and it costs you $20 and then in six months, months you decide to sell it for $30 because it was a rare skin that they only released one time Activision can still collect a percentage of that future sale let's say it's 10 percent so it's three dollars and they can collect that for the rest of time as long as Warzone is played and is enjoyed by players who are willing to spend money on that marketplace and that's a little bit different than what we see with axie infinity because axie infinity was built around the marketplace whereas in the case of call of duty it is built around you know the actual gameplay of call of duty but it's worth noting that if the developers implement a system that has a profit incentive then they are then encouraged to build their game around that system so imagine a version of team deathmatch that you can only get into if you have a santa claus skin for the holiday season that would directly negatively impact the player experience but it's probable that we'll see Activision and companies like Ubisoft continue to try to push the NFT agenda because it's just another way for them to make a ton of money off the sales of their microtransactions not only upfront but also for the rest of time as they're sold on the marketplace so even though there are some legitimately good uses for NFTs and good reason to implement them into the games that you know and love it seems like every step of the way we're hit with roadblocks and micro tragedies that are just causing people to distrust the word nft in general and every time it seems like the backlash is dying down and people are forgetting about it something new comes along that screws over a bunch of people and the uphill battle for nft implementation continues and look if you're watching this and you own nfts and you're an avid collector and you're very passionate about nfts and you think that i'm absolutely wrong here in that these are all outliers and that this is absolutely a net positive for the gaming scene in general look I'm not saying you're wrong I do see the appeal and utility to adding nfts to gaming but I think the backlash is going to continue for at least the next probably two years or so and it's in part because influencers don't know how to stop scamming their loyal fan base it's actually insane at the end of the day I don't think nfts are going to be added to games for their utility I just don't again I think that there is utility to be had there and there are ways that smart contracts can be used to benefit the player experience but I don't think we need that in gaming I think gaming is functioning just fine without it I mean we already have massive economies in games that are played by millions of players the reality is that if nfts do ever become mainstream in gaming it will strictly be because of the profit incentive for the microtransactions the excuse that nfts are going to be used to sell unique skins is just bogus because you can already put unique skins in the game like the developers could just they could just pick 10 players at random and give only those those players that specific in-game skin or mount and then there you go it's unique to only 10 people and they could sell their accounts if they wanted to on a marketplace and and like you would get sort of the same outcome or you could say oh well nfts can be used for something like blizzcon which is fine except tickets exist so we don't need an nft like sure it could be used that way but we've been getting along just fine without it and again you can go down this rabbit hole for however long you want but at the end of the day I think the functionality of nfts is great it's just realistically what's gonna move the needle is money and i don't think that's the future that most gamers really want at least not here in the west i know pay to win games are much bigger in other countries but here in the united states pay to win usually is uh, equated to a bad game but i would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below what do you guys think of nfts in gaming are you excited for their legitimate implementation or are you extremely skeptical and pessimistic or do you just not want to hear it 
ever again you hate the idea and you will never support it i again i really want to know what you think down below guys if you made it to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other video game players might see it and also if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a video this video is a bit different than the videos that i normally make on the channel so if you enjoyed it i would love that support and let me know in the comments below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon